Hi kids! Welcome to Bahay Aralan! Today, we will be talking about demonstrative pronouns. What are demonstrative pronouns? Demonstrative pronouns are used to point to people or things. They help us know if the people or things are near or far from us. These pronouns include this, that, these, and those. Let us have this and these first. This is used to point to only one person or thing that is near the person talking. For example, this is a cute puppy. We use this in the sentence because the puppy is very near the speaker. She is even holding it and there is only one puppy. On the other hand, these is used to point to people or things or plural nouns meaning there's more than one and they are near the person talking. For example, these are cute puppies. In this sentence, we use these because the person is holding the puppies. And there are two puppies here. Another example. This is a heavy chair. As you can see, this is used in the sentence because the person is near the chair. And he is only talking about one chair. Now, how about this? We can say, these are heavy chairs. We use these because the person is near more than one chair. Right? Okay, another one. This is a soft pillow. This is used in the sentence because the person is holding the pillow and there is only one pillow. Now let's have these. These are soft pillows. These is used here because the person is holding two pillows. Is it clear? Now let us have that and those. That is used if someone is pointing to one person or thing that is far from him or her. For example, that is an airplane. As you can see, the airplane that the person is pointing to is far from him. That is why that is used. Now let's have those. Those is used to point to people or things or plural nouns, meaning there's more than one and they are far from the person. For example, those are airplanes. Those is used here because the airplanes are far from the child. And as you can see, there is more than one airplane. Right? Next, that is a monkey. That is used here because the monkey is far from the people watching. And there is only one monkey. And for the pronoun those, we can say those are monkeys. Why? Because there is already more than one monkey here. And they are far from the monkeys. Another one. That is a kite. That is used here because the kite is far from the person. How about this? We can say, those are kites. Because the person is pointing to more than one kite. And the kites are far from her. Okay? Now, before having an activity, let us summarize first the use of the demonstrative pronouns. If the person is referring or pointing to only one person or thing, and it is near, we have to use 
this. But if there is more than one or plural, we have to use these. If the person is referring or pointing to one person or thing that is far from him or her, we have to use that. But if there is more than one or plural and they are far from the person, we have to use those. Okay? So, are you ready for the activity? Great! Your task is to choose the correct demonstrative pronoun to complete the sentence. First, blank is a clock. This or that? The answer is this because the person is holding the clock and it is only one. Next, blank are flowers. This or these? The answer is these. Why? Because the person is holding not just one but several flowers. Okay, next. Blank is my bicycle. This or that? The answer is this. Because the person is near or holding the bicycle. And there is only one bicycle. Another one. Blank are birds. These or those? The answer is those. Because the birds are far from the person. Next. Blank is a rainbow. That or those? The answer is that because the person is pointing to only one rainbow. Okay, last one. Blank are my bags. This or these? The answer is these. Why? Because the person is holding more than one bag. Alright. We're done kids. Thank you for watching. Take care.